Hey guys, Flipire here from the Spitfire admin team and I'm just going to be showing you a quick tutorial on the seed mod so let's get into this so what you want to do first off is get a foundation any foundation will do and then place it get a glass wall greenhouse will do but if you can make regular glass that is better as it is stronger get the four high and then glass ceilings and now this design I use just like that and then you need a crop top and then you need magic seed you also need some fertilizer which I'll have to spawn in I, yeah, so I've built this wrong, as you can see, it's only 165, if you can get it to 300, that is better, see it's 300, yeah, so if you can get it to 300, that should do it, as you can see, it's now 300. Now what you want to do is you want to deposit the fertilizer and give it water. So you need that. And take pipe and a tap. I'm just using stone for now. It doesn't actually have to go into a crop pot. As you can see, I can just put it down here and it'll be fine. So now it's got water. Got everything that it needs. Now here's some real magic. Any second now, it'll give a large dose of it. While we wait, I'll just make a seed bench. So these are all of the seeds, I'll get rid of a few. Doesn't do anything. Okay, so these are fully grown up and it gives you 1,500. Now, you can wait, but you won't get as much. So what you should do is do that. Pick up. Place down. Put the seed and fertilizer in there. And then do that all over again. Until you have enough to get the next crop plot so uh, to do that you need to put this into here make that now I've got GCM on a creative mode basically so I can create any of them but yeah it takes 8 of this to make one of that and then 16 of this, to make one of that 32 of this to make that and 64 of this to make that That's the basics of it And now I'll show you this So once you ha have enough for, To make the next crop plot you go to structures, farming And now this will be the first one you can make Put a regular Crop blocks, I believe it's plus a cow. So yeah, you have to make a large crop block. 
put that in there and then it will be like that. Can you make make one? So I spawned it in and let's just die. Let's say that is so annoying. So what you want to do is once you've made this first crop pot, you want to place it down. Put the seed in and fertilize it. And this will make more faster basically. You want to keep doing upgrading your corporate as soon as you can until you get up to here. Now with the tech crop plots, I'll show you what you can do with them. You can do with the um Take crop plot, the first take crop plot. You can put. Oh, wait, no. So, yeah, uh, if you look in here, it's made that. And now, every time you upgrade your crop plot, you'll get more and more. Because the crop plot will automatically increase the greenhouse effect. You'll notice it quite a bit on. The third one, I believe, is here. It'll take a few seconds to uh, burn. But as you can see, it's got 12... 1200% now, so... That just gives you more... Magic. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this guy. This video, guys. I forgot to mention, but... Once you get this tech plot 2.0, you can put any item in it to duplicate that item pretty much. Works on most items but not all. And then with the normal tech plot you put seeds in, which you can craft or you get from the bosses here. Uh, just saying, water boss you can't actually spawn I believe, but you can spawn air boss and the earth boss. The bosses will spawn. Ah, Drop super fertilizer or seeds, uh, which is another good way of actually getting the seeds. All of the seeds are here, which you can craft. Some are hard to craft, some aren't. But yeah, I just recommend killing the bosses if you want seeds. It's a really good way to get them. And yeah, so yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one.